everyone, my name is Anne-Marie Vaux and I'm a designer with craftshoeprint.com. Today I'd like to show you how to make one of my Easter cards. This is the card that we're going to be making. It's an Easter Wishes double rose card and it's the rounded bottom stacker. The tools that you're going to need, you're going to need paper to map the card with, I've actually used a pre-folded card for this design. You're going to need 3D foam or silicone glue, whichever your preference, flat adhesive and sharp scissors. I've used two pairs of scissors for this design, but you don't have to. So we're going to go to www.craftshoeprint.com and we're going to download the sheet of your choice. This sheet is cut number 182902 underscore 10. You can see any of my designs by going to www.craftshoeprint.com slash Amarivo and that will show you my full range. As you can see on the sheet you've got the main base image and then you've got four layers that are the rounded stackers that we're going to build up. So once you've downloaded your sheet you're going to cut the layers out and I'll move that to one side. You're going to cut out your layers which to save a little bit of time I've already done. There we go, that's what they look like cut out. Now as I mentioned before I've used a pre-folded card and I'm going to use the backing paper which I found that I think matches the colour in the blue and the yellow on the Easter card very well. So I'm just going to literally peel off the tape on the back like so. Now a little tip here for your crafters, when I've cut out the, the paper for the card on the back I've put a little arrow at the top of it and then that way I know that that's the top of the card. So we're going to put that down onto the top like so, smooth it down. So we've got our first layer on the base. Now I'm going to build the image up before I put it onto the card. So I've already put foam tape on the back of my uh, layers. I'm just going to peel the back of them off and start off. That's the first layer, corner to corner, edge to edge. The next layer, peel the back of the foam off. You'll be able to take a little bit more time over this. You might want to use silicone glue so that you'll be able to get a perfect match to the design. So there we go. That's the next layer on. Fourth layer. Peel the foam off. Foam tape. And marry up the corners. And the words, am I about there? No. Let's... There we go. And then the last layer. Peel off the back of the foam. Marry up corner to corner. Like so. So there you can see the layers with the foam and I've already put foam on the back to be able to attach this to my card just to save a little bit of time. So I'll peel off the back of the foam, match it up in the middle of the card like so. And there we have the finished Easter card. You can see the layers. I'll put it next to the sample at the beginning. And I'd like to thank you all for watching my episode of Cup TV. 
I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.